Hello and welcome to our Business Builders Community Chat Series. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Anna Green, our Head of Small and Medium Business for Asia Pacific and Japan here at AWS. Anna, welcome to the show. Can you start telling our audience a little bit about what exactly is the cloud? Hi, Ali. Sure. Cloud computing is very simply the on-demand delivery of IT resources over the internet, which you can pay for as you use it. So instead of buying and owning and maintaining physical data centers and servers, you access technology services like computing power, storage, database, uh, AI, machine learning, and data analytics on an on-demand basis through the cloud. So if cloud delivers your IT, it's kind of just like turning on a light switch. You basically turn it on when you need it, um, use as much as you need, and then you turn it off. Uh, and you don't pay for the overcapacity that you don't use. Thanks, Anna. I mean, that all makes sense, but why would a business consider moving their IT services to the cloud? And can you share some of the businesses to a small business? Because I imagine that this could be quite a daunting task. Yeah, look, what our customers tell us is that moving to the cloud saves them money. It's as simple as that. And for a business, that's the most important thing. So it's not uncommon for our customers to move to the cloud and in, in fact, um, get up to 40% of savings on their IT spend in a, on a yearly basis. Um, and the savings are coming from two things. The first is an increased efficiency in the use of your employees. And the second is saving on operational costs. So um, industry studies have found that IT administrators are spending 70% of their time on just basic management tasks, just to keep the lights on. Um, and when you take a advantage of cloud technology, you can actually use your really valuable IT team and resources um, and point them towards things that actually help you build your business and grow your business instead of spending all their time just updating um, backups and security. So um, we also hear customers give us reports on saving operational costs. Um, AWS managed services offer easy to configure um, availability settings um, and easy to manage security features that actually deliver a much lower operational costs for business. Um, and some of the, the savings that we've seen our customers uh, be able to implement have re resulted in about $290,000 a month of savings, which for a small business or even a medium sized business is material. So we can really see um, a difference in operational margins and the bottom line of businesses when they are changing their IT services to a cloud solution. Wow, those are some huge savings. Thanks so much. I mean, Anna, to wrap up this interview, how can a business actually get started on their migration journey? Yeah, look, for many businesses, migrating to the cloud can actually be quite intimidating because business leaders, CEOs that I speak to, they just don't have the time or the resources to architect an IT journey to the cloud. Um, and that's where um, AWS really um, delivers what we believe is a customer obsessed service proposition. You know, we break down the processes to individual work streams that can really help the thinking um, so that it's not intimidating. Um, it, leaders who are unfamiliar with the cloud um, can start just by moving non-critical workloads, for example, disaster recovery to the cloud. Um, and it helps their teams gain familiarity and understanding. And it also actually uh, results in some pretty great innov innovative solutions that the IT teams can then access because they're then on the cloud. So, you know, for us, it's about helping our customers to take that journey with us um, and make sure that they really feel that they can build successful businesses on the cloud. Anna, thank you so much for joining me for our first ever Business Builders series. We'll catch you back in the next series where we're going to be talking all about data security. So I'll see you back in the next episode. Thank you. Thanks.